Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today I've got an absolute big woods classic. We're gonna be shooting Remington Core Locked, the 180 grain round nose soft point in 308 Winchester. Not the pointed soft point, the big old round nose. Let's do it. And here's my test rifle, a Ruger American Gen 1. Yes, I did the custom paint job myself. It's got a 22 inch barrel and I did have it threaded for a suppressor. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on here. I've got 308 stamped on the front and a white tail buck on the back. Check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. I'd love to make you one. I'll be taking three shots into ballistics gel from 100 yards. So let's shoot it. And we are down at the blocks after shooting those Remington Core Locked 180 grain soft points, the round nosers out of the 308 Winchester, not the pointed soft point, the old school round nose. And as you can see, we did capture all three bullets. These things have some just nasty mushrooming going on. These things look amazing. Penetration wise, we got this one at 22 inches. This one down there is about 22 and a half. And then this one we're gonna give, that one's actually closer to 23 and a half inches than 23. And if you've seen the video, the 180 grain pointed soft point version of this actually went a bit deeper and i think the reason is these things opened up so much more rapidly the mushrooming on these looks bigger than the pointed soft point version i don't recall if it is or not but it looks bigger at least right now go back and watch that video to make sure coming on over to the first block to look at the wound cavity opens up pretty rapidly by the one inch mark they're opening up coming on back and then they go all the way to about the 12 inch mark i think two of them stopped a little bit short of that there's a wound check right there you can see down there to about 10 and a half inches this other one went a little bit further not a very explosive wound track out of these things and i think a big reason for that is they're going quite a bit slower than some other 308 ammo so you're just not going to see that massive terminal wound cavity up front right here is the uh, sierra sportmaster 165 grain load the wound cavity up front here is a lot more devastating looking than with these 180 grain soft point core locks. Anyway, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and dig them out and take a look. All right, y'all, we've got the bullets out of the blocks. Let's go ahead and look at them and go over all the metrics. The Remington core locked 180 grain soft points with the round nose and 308 Winchester. These things are sledgehammers. Take a look at these bullets. Look at how absolutely perfect the mushrooming is on these bullets. They all look almost identical, nice and concentric and uniform. They're gonna make a big old hole through whatever they're going through. I'm very pleased with the performance of these bullets. Let's hit the metrics. Weight retention, 155, 156, 157 grains. For an average of 156 grains, that's 87% weight retention. For a non-bonded bullet like the Remington Core Locked, that's pretty darn good. I'm very happy with it. Expansion, almost identical, 0 0.65, 0 0.65, and 0.66 inches. For an average of, we're going to round it down to 0.65 inches expanded diameter. That's 2.1x expansion. That's over the 2x mark. I like to see that we tend to see from most good medium game hunting ammo. But what I want to point out is just how uniform these bullets are. It's not a jagged piece off here or there in two or three places that creates that 2.1x expansion number. It's the whole thing all the way around. It's, it's perfect expansion. On to velocity, our high was 2633, our low was 2604. So not that bad of a spread from factory ammo, especially core locked. For an average of 2,620 feet per second, which coincidentally matches the box spec exactly. The factory velocity spec is 2,620 feet per second, exact match. I think that's the second time in channel history where we've had that happen. And our high velocity was a bit higher and our low velocity wasn't that much lower. This stuff was loaded right. And penetration wise, the stuff did really good. 22 inches, 22 and a half inches, and 23 and a half inches for an average of about 23 inches of penetration. For bullets that open up so rapidly and with so much expansion, nice and concentric, punching that hole, they're going to face a lot of resistance going through whatever they're going through. I'm very pleased with 23 inches of penetration. This stuff is pushing a lot out of the way with that expansion and still went almost two feet deep. 
excellent. Kinetic energy wise with a 180 grain bullet going on average 2,620 feet per second, we're looking at 2,743 foot pounds at the muzzle. It's pretty strong for a 308 and 2,373 foot pounds down there at 100 yards. And the estimated impact velocity down there at 100 yards is about 2,437 feet per second. All right, y'all, so it's time for my final thoughts on this Remington Core Locked 180 grain soft point round nose load out of the 308 Winchester. I had some people from up in Maine suggest this to me. A while back, I actually got a Remington 7600 pump action deer rifle, very popular in the Northeast. And I was trying to figure out what kind of ammo would just go great with the rifle, the aura of the rifle, if you will. And a lot of people suggested the 180 grain round nose core locked hits like a sledgehammer. Apparently a lot of people up in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont and stuff like this kind of ammo. And I have to see, I understand why. The metrics don't lie. The stuff performed excellent across the board everywhere. Weight retention was great for a non-bonded bullet. Expansion was incredible, nice and uniform and concentric. Velocity, the stuff was loaded, right? At least this batch was. And penetration was, again, excellent, especially for how much expansion we got. The stuff hits hard, and I think it would be excellent for your big white tail, mule deer, basically anything where you don't need a super flat trajectory because the further out you get, that round nose bullet's gonna slow down a little bit faster. It's not gonna be a long range option for me at least, but if you're hunting at woods ranges, typical, you know, white tail deer ranges, 50, 75, 100, 150 yards, I think this is an absolutely excellent option. Phenomenal, I might go so far as to say. And I happen to know that my 7600 does shoot the stuff very accurately, and it's, it's my go-to ammo for that. I haven't killed anything with it yet, but if I, if I ever get around to doing it, I'll definitely let you know how it does. So yeah, that's what I would use it for. Whitetail, deer, black bear, stuff like that at reasonable ranges. I don't think you could do a whole lot better. So if you or anybody you know has used this ammo while actually hunting, killed stuff with it, let us know in the comments how it did for you. And here we're looking at the back of the box. We do have a little bit of promo information. Up top, we've got the three different bullet styles um, offered in the original core locked line, pointed soft point, soft point, and hollow point. And of course, now we've got a fourth and even fifth kind, um, the core locked tipped and then core locked copper, but that's that's not really a core locked bullet. And then underneath there, we've got a little bit of core locked bullet history. Feel free to stop, pause, and read all that if you would like. Been around a long time. And then down towards the bottom, we've got the velocity and trajectory charts. And make sure you check out my website, shopmasonleather.com. Everything is handmade by me just for you. Cartridge cuffs, slings, even coffee mugs showing off all your favorite hunting cartridges. Perfect for deer camp. And I bet if you head over right now, there's a great deal waiting for you. I look forward to serving you through my leather work. The link is in the pinned comment or just type shopmasonleather.com into your web browser. And if you want early access to all my videos, become a channel member. The link to join is in the pinned comment. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.